Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad bin Al Malik. Today we are going to discuss different bus bar schemes with their advantages and disadvantages. So, number one is single bus scheme, main and transport bus scheme, double bus single bracket scheme, double bus double bracket scheme, breaker and a half scheme, and ringed bus scheme. So, let's start the video without wasting the time. single bus scheme so we have just one bus here as we can see here in this picture this is an incoming line here a circuit breaker and these are the disconnecting switches here and these four lines are the outgoing lines so as the name implies this substation configuration consists of the circuits connected to a single bus so all these circuits are connected to this bus so what are the advantages? This is very simple in design. It is very cost effective and is very convenient to operate. So configuration requires less installation area and it can be easily expanded. These are all the advantages. So let's talk about some disadvantages. So failure of bus or any circuit breaker result in shutdown of the entire substation. So either this breaker fails to operate or this bus fails to operate, we have a complete shutdown. Difficult to do any maintenance. Maintenance of the any circuit breaker requires shutdown of the entire corresponding circuit. We have already discussed it. So maintenance of the bus required a complete shutdown of the bus. So if we want to operate this bus for the maintenance purpose, the result in the complete shutdown. The fifth one here is a bypass which can be used across circuit breaker, but circuit protection is disabled. And the sixth one here, bus cannot be extended without completely de-energizing substation. And the last one here, it can be used only where loads can be interrupted or have other supply. So the next one is main and transfer bus schemes. In this arrangement, one or more buses is added to the single bus step station scheme. So, as the name suggests, we have a main and transfer bus scheme. So, we have two buses here. One is a main bus and other is transfer bus. So, these two buses are connected by a bus type breaker. We have these breakers here and also we have isolators. So, we have isolators here one or more circuit breakers can may be used in this arrangement to make connections between the main and transfer bus so bus type breaker is used here to connect these two buses the main bus is usually connected to each feeder so a big consists of circuit breaker and associated isolators at both sides of the breaker so this is the main bus it is connected to each feeders incoming line here you can see here and outgoing line here these are the outgoing lines allows maintenance of the circuit breaker without breaking power supply to feeder it is so every feeder line is directly connected to a isolated to a second bus car transfer point the said isolator is generally called bypass isolator so circuit breaker and maintenance is achieved by closing this tie breaker and what are advantages and disadvantages the first one is low initial and ultimate cost the second one any breaker can be taken out of the service for maintenance we can see easily from the deck wrong disadvantages require one extra breaker for the bus tie switching is somewhat complicated when maintaining a breaker and the last one is here is 
failure of the burst or any circuit breaker result in shutdown of the entire substation. So the next one is here, double burst, double breaker scheme. So as the name suggests, we have two buses and two breakers. So we have one bus here and the second one is here and we have two breakers. The first one is here and the second one is here. These are, are connected. The feeder can be shifted to any of the bus to allow maintenance of the isolated bus and circuit breaker. So feeder can be shifted to any of the bus. What are the advantages? Each circuit has two dedicated breakers has flexibility in permitting feeder circuits to be connected to either bus. And the third one, any breaker can be taken out of service for maintenance without outage of the circuit. High reliability. What are the disadvantages? It is more expensive. Would lose half the circuits for breaker failures if circuits are not connected to both buses. So the next one here is double bus single breaker scheme. As the name suggests, we have two buses and one breaker. We have two buses. The first one is here and the second one is here. It is connected by a bus tire breaker. This is a bus tire breaker. These are isolators. And then we also we have the circuit breaker. This is the outgoing line. This is the incoming line. This is incoming and this is outgoing. So there are two identical bus bars. Each feeder is connected to both bus bars through individual isolators. So each feeder, for example, this is the feeder. It is connected to these two bus bars. How? We can see here if we want to connect this feeder to the bus 1 we can simply close this isolator and if we want to connect this bus bar 2 to this feeder line we can just close this second end of the isolator by closing any isolator of the feeder can be connected to the isolated bus both buses are energized and feeders are divided into two groups. So bus tie breaker is normally closed. So we have a bus tie breaker here. It is normally closed. Any feeder can connect to any bus. Close the isolator associated with the bus to where the feeder will be transferred. Open the isolator associated with the bus from where the feeder is transferred. So we can easily shift our feeder line to these two buses with the help of this isolator. Lastly, after this transfer operation bus, coupler breakers should be open. Flexibility of the system has increased does not allow maintenance of the feeder circuit breaker without interruption. Now here are some advantages. The first one is permits some flexibility with two operation buses. The second one is either main bus may be isolated for maintenance. Circuits can be transferred readily for one bus to the other by use of the bus tie breaker and bus selector disconnected switches. And what are the disadvantages? The first one is one extra breaker is required for the burst tie. For four switches are required per circuit. Bus protection scheme may cause loss of substations when it operates it all circuits are connected to that bus. So high exposure to bus wards. Line breaker failure takes all circuit connected to the bus out of the circuit. Bus tire breaker failure 
takes entire substation out of the circuit or service so the next one here is the ring bus key as we can see here we have different breakers and the incoming lines here these are the outgoing lines and the breaker is all are connected in the ring format so it provides basically two option for the consumer provides a double speed to each feeder circuit opening one breaker under maintenance or otherwise does not affect supply to the other feeder so if you want to operate this or we have to shut down this breaker the supply should reach from this breaker to this line so it, these all are connected in the ring format this scheme has good operational flexibility and high reliability if the fault occurs in this configuration it is isolated by tripping a breaker on both sides of the circuit so we can isolate this breaker if a fault result in in this breaker by tripping two breakers only the fault circuit is isolated while the other circuits remain in service so the main advantage here is the circuits remain in service but this system has two major disadvantages what are the disadvantages here it is closed circuit system it is ne next to impossible to extend in future and hence it is unsuitable for developing system so it is a closed system so it is not be extended in future if any of the circuit breaker in ring loop is switched off reliability of system because very poor because low loop becomes open the next one is tripping of the any breaker in the open loop causes interruption in all of the feeders between trip breakers and open end of the loop so here are some advantages it is low initial and ultimate cost flexible operation for breaker maintenance and breaker can be removed for maintenance without interrupting load required only one breaker per circuit does not use main bus each circuit is fed by two breakers and the last one is that all switching is done with breakers if the fault occurs during a breaker maintenance period the ring can be separated into two sections so the next and the last one here is breaker and the half scheme we can see here this is bus 1 this is bus 2 these are the incoming lines here these fours and these fours are the outgoing lines we have a tie breaker here and these are the breakers used here so let's move in this scheme three circuit breakers are used for controlling two circuits which are connected between two bus bars so three circuit breakers one two and three are used for controlling two circuits so number one the circuits here we have an incoming line here and it's connected by these two breakers and then uh, and the outgoing line are uh, also here it is between these two circuit breakers normally both the bus bars are in service so a fault on any of the bus bars is cleared by opening of the associated circuit breakers without affecting continuity of supply we taken out for the maintenance without causing interruption load transfer is achieved through the breakers and therefore the operation is simple what are advantages here most flexible operation high reliability breaker failure of the bus side breaker removes only one circuit from the service all switching is done with breakers and the last one simple operation no disconnect switching required for normal operations and the sixth one here is 
is the main bus can be used out of the service at any time for maintenance. Here, bus period does not remove any tweeted circuits from the service. What are disadvantages? One and a half breakers per circuit. Delaying and automatic reclosing are somewhat involved since the middle breaker must be responsive to either of the actuated circuits. If you like this video, please subscribe the channel and share it and support us. Thanks for watching this video.